Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, use array classic uh, to use the array in the isometric drawings. So first of all, this is an example here uh, that we need to use the array classic. Uh, I started the drawing the frames uh, of um, uh, a house. So uh, here we have uh, these frames and we need to uh, use the array classic to, um, to construct the rest of the roof as well as uh, the wall frames. So let's do that at the beginning. We're gonna type Array classic. So we start typing array and it will come up or you can just type it. So this is the array classic. Now what we will do here, uh, we have several things to decide on. If I'm planning to use the array to construct the rest of the frames here. Uh, so I need to select the objects. I can click on this little icon and I will select the objects. If you just need the roof, you select the roof if you need also to construct uh, the wall to uh, the left side. So you're gonna pick the wall. So just pick the things that you would like to array. Uh, in this case, I'm gonna pick all these um, parts. When I finish selecting, click enter. So this is the first part, select object. Now we need to decide on how many rows and how many columns we need. Actually, we, we just need one row because we are not going by rows. So we just need one row. And for the columns here, you need to count how many uh, parts, how many items you need to array to create. Let's say that I need 16. Uh, this is a, just an example, okay? So you just put how many items you want on the columns. Second, we need the row offset. And in this case, I leave it one since I'm not using any uh, rows. Uh, the column offset here, you need to type uh, the, the distance you need between the first part and the second part, starting from the first point to the first point. So how much the distance? If you're not sure about the distance, you can use uh, this big column offset and you can zoom in here pick the first and the second. And this is, for example, the, the distance here. Okay. So you can just click on that and decide on the distance, or you can type it. As you see now here, it is a negative because we're going uh, this way uh, as a negative uh, number. The angle, usually if you're constructing to the left side is 150, but also you can click on pick angle of array and choose the, um, the angle that you want, which way you want the array to go. Now, after picking that, now it's 150 and uh, you can make review just to make sure that you did it correctly. As you see here, uh, I, I made the array to the left side and it's uh, several ones to the top. Let's say that you don't need these lines to be arrayed so you don't choose them. So whatever uh, the items, the objects, you, you hit enter. As you see here from selecting objects, if you need to uh, select different objects, you can select different objects so you don't include uh, the lines. So here your decision to uh, include these lines or not, or what parts you want to array. If you are arraying this part to the right, so the angle will be different and you pick different items with different directions. So if you need to uh, pick any of the other to uh, make different ones to the right, again, you start with array classic again, uh, select object. And, and this time I need to select, for example, these lines. Okay, hit uh, enter. So this is the select object. Now uh, the rows one, the columns also, you need to decide, let's say that I need uh, 16 or 10 or whatever, how many items they are. Uh, then you put, um, let's make that 20. And always you can adjust this number. Uh, then the column offset, you need to decide here. 
this direction. Okay, and the angle. See now it is 30. So this is the angle on the direction is a change to preview. You see here that I got 20. So if you need more, you can add this one. You can add more items uh, to um, to fulfill this one. Or if you need to open a door, you can always move. You can always uh, move, for example, here, uh, this part. And just open a space. So here, it's your decision on how many uh, ones you need. And this is the way to uh, use the array classic. Thank you for watching.